Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kay Wanas, and y'all got a mission. It's what? E-I-C, that is elevate, inspire, and create. That is elevating who you to that next level so that you are inspired to create your own world. Y'all, that's my mission, my mandate here on this earth. Look, I am up at the park, and baby girl just ran over to the swings, but I'm getting ready to mix up me another cup of Caprice. CBD infused coffee, okay? It is excellent. It helps with what? Weight loss. Um, it relaxes you. It tastes really good. It's smooth, y'all. Look, and you only need one pack. And I got a 16 ounce glass of uh, water that I just went to Wawa to get some hot water. And I got me a little, some, a little cream on it. I'm gonna pour in it and I'm gonna stir it all up and make it happen. I want y'all to check it out. Okay, y'all. Pouring it in there. It smells so good, y'all. When I tell you it smells so good, it smells so good. Okay, the whole packet is in there. Caprice. Mm-mm-mm. Don't knock it till you try it, y'all. Don't knock it till you try it. Now, look, and I said before, like I've said in previous videos, that I am not a coffee drinker. I repeat. I'm not a coffee drinker. I like my little cappuccinos here and there. But um, this right here, y'all, it's CBD infused without the synthetic, y'all. So you ain't going to, you know, be getting no buzz and all that other mess. It's just going to relax you. I'm going to put some more um, creamer in it. It's all natural, okay? Put my creamer in it. And stir it up. Let me taste it. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby! Okay. So, tap on it. Give me a moment. Y'all, this is... When I tell y'all... You need to contact me... For your... Packet. Okay, your free packet. I'll give you a free packet one little packet of some Caprice coffee, okay? Contact me, inbox me on Facebook, on Instagram. My Facebook and Insta uh, my Facebook um, messenger is Kawana Brickhouse. My um, Instagram uh, in inbox is um, Kawana Creates. YouTube channel, Kawana Creates. Uh, website is Kawana 365 days dot Tavis lifestyle dot com. You can actually order the, um, a nice big old pack of Caprice coffee for yourself so that you can you can drink it for uh, 60 days. I think they have a 60 day packet. Look, mm, look, I got it on my nose. Y'all, it's the bomb. It's good. Mm -mm -mm. I just had to share that with y'all. Look, when you get to the place where you... I'm not fiending for it. But um, this week, this will be my third time this week having this coffee. Or is it second? That shows you how much I drink coffee. Because some people literally have to have it every day, like three times a day. No, that's, that's, not, that's not my kicker. But I look forward to drinking this. And look for the benefits that that comes along with it. I'm on this weight loss journey. I actually signed up for a 30 day challenge, and as of right now, I am 147.4, and I'm looking to go down even more. Um, and I guess this is like my little treat to myself, my Caprice coffee. So look, I hope you all have a blessed day okay um i want to give you a little quick word i want to encourage somebody today i want to encourage you give me a moment okay y'all proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 reads a joyful heart is good medicine okay but a crushed spirit dries up the bones I'm going to repeat that one more time. 
A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. How many have how many of you all have ever had a had a um a crushed spirit? And how many of you all have had a joyful heart? There comes a time in life where sometimes we go through things in life that we experience a a crushed spirit. You know what I'm saying? And you know the key to 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 dealing with that crushed spirit is getting I personally believe, I know what I do, getting in the presence of the Lord and crying crying out to God and allowing him to love on you, but also placing yourself around, placing yourself in the right environment. Look, you have to put yourself around people that you know that are going to build you up, that are going to encourage you, that's going to elevate you, that's going to push you to your destiny, that's going to inspire you, that's going to pour back into you, that's going to pray over you, that, that when you're when you're dealing with that crushed heart they're going to say you know what you you know what my sister let me pray with you right now they, they're going to give you a phone call and they're going to say look you know so and so this and that you know may have happened and that may have took place but look i need you to look at this on a different in a different angle and i and i need you to choose to put yourself in this type of environment and i need you to know that i'm here for you i'm available to you to to to, to encourage you to speak life over you and and you know my sister or my brother before i leave look i want to pray with you even right now so look remember the scripture it's a valuable scripture that I pray that it, it would marinate within your heart. A joyful heart is good medicine. When you have a joyful heart, it 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 beams into other people's lives. It affects other people in a positive way that give them hope to keep moving forward. I mean, it's like a domino effect. Whatever you're doing, the life that you're living, the encouragement, the joy, the peace that is exuberating from you, it would affect the next person. And the next, and the next, and the next. But let me also say this. If you have a crushed spirit, that same crushed spirit can do what? It can. It will dry up your bones, but guess what? It, will, it can also, that crushed spirit can dry up other people's bones around you. Why? What, what are you saying, Kawana? What I'm saying is who you are and how you carry yourself, it's... It spills into other people's lives. Okay, so if you're full of venom, if you're full of hatred, if you're full of hurt and pain and, and, and a whole bunch of chaos and drama, guess what? That same stuff that you're filled with will spill into other people's lives. And it can affect other people. It can. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're filled with joy, that joy can be medicine to, to uplift that person, to uplift people, to inspire people, to inspire a nation. We have to be careful. We have to be careful how we live, y'all. We got to be careful how we live. We got to be careful how we carry ourselves. We got to be careful. And, and, and um, we have to be intentional to make sure that we get in the presence of the Lord. That we choose to allow the Holy Spirit to fill us afresh. And mind you, there are some people that say, Kawana, I don't believe in the Holy Spirit. Kawana, I don't believe in God. Well, look, I'm here to, to encourage you right here, right now. That look, my God that I serve is the same God that is available for you today if you desire to get to know him. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and everything else will be added. I'm asking you to seek him. I'm asking you to seek out God. I'm asking you to, to get to know the Lord. If you don't, you don't, well, Kawana, how do I even get to know the Lord? Look, open your mouth and say, God, you know, I heard about you, I, you know, and I, I see that. I see that this world could not be created without you. I know that the grass wouldn't be here and the stars wouldn't be here. I know I didn't wake up on my own. I know that you've kept me from drama and hell, but Lord, I, I really want to know you on another level. So, so what do you do? This is what you do. You say, Father, I believe in you. I believe that you died on the cross and your son, Jesus, I believe that your son died on the cross for my sins. You said, if, if, if I were to believe I could have life 
and have it more abundantly. You say that you will forgive me and cleanse me of all unrighteousness and you will wipe away my sins as far as from the east is to the west. Yes, that's what the word of God said. But it, it don't just stop there, y'all. Look, we have to communicate with the Lord. We have to be willing to build a, a relationship with God. Just like you build a relationship with the, someone that you're in a relationship with where you talk to them and you get to know them and you spend quality time with them and you, you, know, you, 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 you do those intimate things with them to build. You have to do the same thing with God in order to get to know him. So look, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to overwhelm you right now with so much. I just wanted to give you some little nuggets. I wanted to bless you with this scripture because look, a joyful heart is truly medicine to our soul. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. It dries up your bones and it will dry up other people's bones. And we don't wanna dry up people's bones. We wanna bring a life to other people. So you be encouraged, you be blessed. If you're interested in me praying for you, I encourage you to leave a comment in a comment below. Email me at elevate, inspire, and create at yahoo.com. Email me your prayer request. I'll pray for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you're interested in, in purchasing any of the products that I share for, as far as Caprice or the Vasia, which, which is a detox tea that I have been taking on my weight loss journey that I've been on for the past um, well, it's just the beginning. In 30 days, it's not up now. Hey, look, that website is Kiwana 365 Days Tava Lifestyle.com. Okay? And look, we can go, we can go from there. I'm here for prayer for you. I'm here, I'm here to help you on your health your your healthy journey. I'm here to uplift you my tr my mission truly is to elevate inspire and create you all have a blessed evening a blessed day and remember a joyful heart is good medicine okay but a crushed spirit dries up the bones if you need prayer if you need to be pulled up out of that crushed spirit look get with somebody that you know that you know will pray you through that you know that will encourage you that will help you through the process that you're in you're not alone Okay, the Bible says, um, woe to the other that does not have a friend to lift them up in a time of need. You know, I, I paraphrase that. But the truth is, we can't do everything on our own. We need others. So you be encouraged and you be blessed and take care. God bless.